every day but mine up remain Anyway, them see me, my money pull over Real bad girl, no push over Street life, the women know about Bring for my finger, the man sent no time for linger Some y'all so good, him a kill for Yo, him like that, so him want wipe that I'll be mine them a pray to see me fall But every day them get up my name still a call But my name them a sing and my neck still a bling Cause the father him still send me up to win But me see through them colors long time Them a pure 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 band mine Yeah me see through them colors long time Them a pure 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 band mine Them want to see me fall Them want to see me fall but me see through them colors long time, them up, your up, your up, your up, and mine. When me I pull out, everybody, them know say the star girl I step out from the bank, me I check out. Pure fire, fire, me I spit out. Not a steam when me want to get out, pan a girl, me I let out. If them try me, them I got me crew, them ready for step out, yo. Them drink my name to the floor, me just want them to know my blessing still up for, yo. And them up your up your up your band mine. Yeah, me see through them colors long time. Them up your up your up your band mine. Them want to see me fall. Them want to see me fall. But me see through them colors long time. Them up your up your up your band mine. Yeah, me. Them can't hold me down. No band mine can't hold me down. Them can't. No one mind can hold me down. Come me see through them colors long time. Them up, your up, your up, your up and mine. Yeah, me see through them colors long time. Them up, your up, your up, your up and mine. Them want to see me fall. Them want to see me fall. But me see through them colors long time. Them up, your up, your up, your up and mine. Again, you know, he's a everyday band mine up, me. Anyway, them see me, my money pull over. Real bad girl, no push over. Street life, the women know about. Ring palm my finger, the man say. Some ya so good, him a kill for. Yo, him like that, so him wanna wipe that. I'll say my. Them a pray for see me fall But every day them get up my name still a call But my name them a sing and my neck still a bling Cause the father him still send me up to win But me see through them colors long time Them up your up your up your band mine Yeah me see through them colors long time Them up your up your up your band mine Them want to see me fall Them want to see me fall But me see through them colors long time Them a Thank you guys. Good job. All right. Who is Brittany Starr? Let's begin first of all by introducing her road manager while Brittany joins us on set. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning guys. We have Kendra Buller on the set with us this that morning. Is right. She is Brittany's road manager. That is right. And we have now Brittany on set with us as well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning ladies. Good morning. Good morning. This is an interesting journey. We have two women joining us on set they're both into music one who's dedicated her life to music right. and the other who's on a path to learning more about this right. particular Definitely. artist by managing her right let's begin with her story Kendra and so how you got to know uh, Britney <laughs> <laughs> so um, Brit I've always been a fan of Britney star um, I think what sealed the deal for me was um, when she did a short song for um, um, Dwayne Gabriel. She remembers. Um, she really touched me, you know, and I said, I have to let Brittany know who I am, that I'm a big fan of hers. You know, I used to always um, visit her page and, you know, give little encouragement and posts, you know, but she never knew who I was. And um, it was music festival last year, actually, when I actually got to meet Brittany. Um, I'm a big fan of the music industry here in Belize. I follow a lot of the Belizean artists, but Brittany has always been my favorite. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, I approached her. Actually, no, it was Reggae Sunday, mm -hmm. right? Um, and Travelers? we met. Yes, <laughs> right. Um, it was our all white Reggae Sunday. And I get to uh, I got to s introduce myself to Brittany, and then I met her again at 
the birds out when she was practicing, gave her my little insights on um, what she was doing. And then I went all the way to San Pedro to see Brittany. Wow. <laughs> yeah, on night one. And man, she was spectacular, you know, and um, the rest is history. I'm now Brittany's road manager, you know, um, and it's a journey, a continued journey. We have become friends. We have laughed together, you know, I've shared moments with her. She has been there for me as well. And so, yes, I'm still Britney's number one fan, <laughs> even though some of her fans would argue with me for that. <laughs> but that's how um, I'm here today with Britney. That's uh, basically what happened just a year ago. Many more to go though. Yeah. Yes. Britney, you are so quickly blowing up in the music industry here in the East, where a lot of people, it's hard to not know who you are because you're all over performing in different parts of the country. But who really is Britney? Let's talk about your music journey and, and what made you decide to place yourself in this industry as an artist? <laughs> well, uh I feel like I had to tell the same story over, <laughs> over which, is fine, which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah, I, am, I started out in, well, where I started to develop a love for music, well, writing my own music, I should say, um, in 2004. My brother, from a young age, we grew up listening to them rapping, like the guys in our neighborhood, in our yard, you know, and then he eventually put up this studio in 2004. But like I was tell people at that time, I was a rebellious 13 year old. Mm -hmm. I was given trouble. And he put together this studio and you're like, get in at the studio. Like, you know, he tried to find something productive for me to do. Mm -hmm. And at the time there was heights of vibes and hot wire. But back then, like day before I'm gonna tell somebody, Belize an artist should be lucky now because back then yeah, people know when they do quote and they can certainly know what's in Belize them. Now people will tell you, I want to see, you know, this Belizean artist, there are Belizean artists. And but there was a reason for that, right? <laughs> and I almost want to tell you, and I, and I perfectly understand mm. the days of, of, you know, when the studio setup wasn't the, the ideal right. arrangement for you to, to produce music. Right. Right. And then as a concert goer, you're mm. paying for a ticket to see premium talent and then you know, you have, no disrespect, Belizean artists who are not polished, this raw talent that mm, is right, on the stage, and that's right. not necessarily the experience we want to see. Right, right. So I, I totally agree <laughs> with those days mm. when we were just to start out. Because I understand that back then, mm. there wasn't even mixing and mastering. Right. 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 But we thought we sound good. <laughs> so fast forward to mm -hmm. 2017 was when Britney Starr was born. Because mm -hmm. back then was Britney, I was under the control of my family. They were writing for me, mm -hmm. everything. But now Britney Star, when I came out, I was like I could do anything. Cause like I said it, I came from poverty. I came from a home with a single mother and nine kids, you know. So and I come from the ghetto, you know. So. I come out and I say, I want to do something different. And I notice all Belize and female artists, they sing, we just sing the same thing. Mm -hmm. But they made a walk my eggshells with it. <laughs> but I say, I will bring it oh, raw. Right. Mm -hmm. Because we listen to uh, the, J uh, the Jamaicans, even the Trinidadians, mm -hmm. and they right. do it now. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say, I will bring it my way. I will, I will try it this way. And in the beginning, it was hard. Like, I get a lot of backlash. You know, up to now, I still get it a little bit, but it's better because Where was the backlash coming from? Is it that perhaps your music was too raunchy, mm -hmm. yes. things like that? Too raunchy right. for Belize and people, mm -hmm. but yet we listen to the dance hall from right. Jamaicans, you know? But I guess it's because it's not our culture, I, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like for us to break out from Belize, we have to do it different or we have to do something similar to what the world is doing well you know mm -hmm. so i chose dance style so where do you get your inspiration um to write the the songs that you write because you said it 
You're mm -hmm. the one that you take the risks and you say the things that people are afraid to say. Mm. Right. So what exactly do you aim to say every time in your songs and where do you gain the inspiration from that? I guess uh, just listening to the beat and I'm a Tanya Stevens fan, mm -hmm. like to the bone. Mm -hmm. So when I was a young girl, I used to like Beyonce growing up and then afterwards, I am when Tanya Stevens brought out Gangsta Blues, I didn't know who <laughs> she was. But all I know, I love this artist. And that's when I start trying to write for myself. And Tanya is not as raunchy as me, but that's what makes me unique because <laughs> I have a twist like, like her, that little style she does, but I also have this bad girl style. <laughs> <laughs> you even met Tanya last year. Yes, right? yeah. I'm glad that the opportunity to I'm meet. glad that you've mentioned that perhaps there are different facets to your talent and your personality on stage, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, you're seen as a role model for young women who are also mm. coming up who look to you for your talent and what have you. How do you balance the adult side versus the role model who's providing that kind of mentorship and guidance for the younger girls coming up? Ah. It's rough, but first of all, I always say it and I will say it again, I don't want anybody, child or any young girl out there to be like me. You know, I choose to do this, mm -hmm. but I definitely don't want them to be like me. I, I want them to make sure they get their education because in everything, your education is first. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. as a ranchy artist, mm -hmm. I'm realizing that me dropping out of school, damn, I would have been really big, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't want them to be nothing like me. Only thing, I think maybe my spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's the good part about me. I feel like people adapt to my vibe. And, you know, I, I have this natural love for kids, especially kids, you know, who the struggle, mm -hmm. like my heart really dropped. Like I, w the other day I was watching the news and I, I know that the young lady got shot and mm -hmm. she left behind two kids. And if I had it, I always say I would take them because I'm afraid that who is raising them, which and I know their family probably do, mm -hmm. but God forbid, um, children's home or anything, I wouldn't want any child in that care. I would take them. So I think that's why it balanced off because, yes, I am raunchy, but people know when I'm around kids, they see the love and I have for them and the kids, they do have for me. So what I'm getting is that uh, Britney Star comes with the raunchy persona, mm. but the core of who you are is very nurturing and mm. you, you right. encourage people to go to school and be yourself, right? which is a good thing. Right. First okay. thing. Let me just add. Yeah, go. Yeah. Sure, go so ahead. Um, uh, we, we, we have been visiting the high schools, you know, um, say the Vernon is one who always asks for us uh, whenever they have um, drug awareness week and different things like that, you know, Brittany would drop in, give a talk, and do a performance, but also give a talk, you know, a positive talk to these young females, you know, because they love her, they adore her. Oh, Britney, Britney, you know, but like you said, it's very important that you you be a role model in society as well for these young females coming up. So I just needed to add that, yeah. you know, we are doing, you know, she's she's acting as an activist in the community as well, which is, which is which really is good, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to touch on uh, a huge part of your career elevating, which was you taking part in the International Music and Food Festival last year. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that experience that you had. What was it like for you? <laughs> uh, I must say I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm grateful because I felt that all these years I'm doing it and I was underrated, you know, but last year when I hit that stage, no mind when I get up there, I was like, Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's the crowd. You know, I, I, I haven't performed in front of a crowd from, I was 13, that was Sizzler in 2004. Mm -hmm. You know, so, <sighs> gratitude, I must say, I, I, I owe it all to, yeah. to you know, um, Minister Mala, I must say, because along my journey, he has really believed in what I'm doing, you know, so. So Richard Moody, the special events coordinator of the Belize Tourism Board, came on set uh, last week and said 
DJ when special. you're here, <laughs> when you're here, D, when you're here, Spice calling and say they want the top performing dance hall artist in Belize to lead mm -hmm. her performance or to open for her. Mm -hmm. Who do you call? You call Britney Star. One thing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you preparing for that? And let me know. I want to know as well. Did you hear that? And, and if you did, what was your reaction to that? I nearly passed out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was super excited. I was super proud of myself. Um, I got emotional because the journey, yeah. you know, it didn't happen for me overnight. And I always say I'm, I'm so glad that it wasn't handed to me, yeah. that everybody could see the work that I've been putting in. So oh, I'm grateful again. How do you transition from the feeling of being underrated to perhaps proving your critics wrong, that you do belong on the stage, you do have a space where you are yourself while performing a music? I, I just always tell myself the main thing is I want to be, I want to remain humble, mm -hmm. you know, because yes, you might not believe, you might never had believed that I would be here today, but it's all good, yeah. it's cool, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, the more I'm getting known, I notice I'm trying, trying to stay humble, like yeah. I, I don't, like, you need to active. remain as grounded as possible. Right. Right. So how do you stay grounded? What's your support team like? Oh, <laughs> I'm blessed, man. Yeah. I'm totally blessed. Because they, they, they love me. Like, when I get in a, my manager's vehicle, they're like, Brittany, you get in a car, you hear alone, Brittany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I know that I'm love. I know I'm in good hands. So I'm blessed. You're so, on the... You're on the ticket once again for this year's International Music and Food Festival. What are fans to expect from you in terms of either new music, in terms of um, artistic growth and the strength of your performance taking the stage this weekend? Mm. They don't know if they expect a whole lot of sex, eh? uh, energy. Mm. As my dancers, they know they play, they in the calm, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's Belizean artist performance right. at its highest. Mm -hmm. It's a Britney star experience, mm -hmm. we're calling it. Mm -hmm. All right. So Britney has definitely raised the bar for herself. Um, we have seven energetic dancers that will hit the stage um, doing their thing. Um, you know, Britney is bringing new music um, in the lineup as well. So you guys can expect new music from Britney Star. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and like I said, she has a Britney Star alliance. You know, she has her core team down to the hairdresser, down to the makeup artist. I have my entourage. You know, wardrobe. Right, everything. everybody, <laughs> you know. And so it will definitely be an experience like none other. I mean, the stage is international and yes. that is what we want to do. Yes. We want to give this international experience, you know. And I mean... And that's what we've definitely been working towards. Like yeah. last year, because Belize International Music and Food Festival is for growth, like right. put Belizean artists on up the map, there on the right. map. Mm -hmm. So I feel like last year, everybody thought that I was good. So we start from early practicing. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say if they thought I was good last year, I have to be better right. this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely what we're doing. Do you feel a bit of pressure knowing that the crowd will be bigger, the artists are a lot more, the international artists that they're mm -hmm. bringing? How, how does it feel going into that, knowing that we're only days away from the big performance? Let me tell you. Uh huh. Last night I went to sleep 12 o'clock. That wow. was very early because three nights before I went to sleep after trees just like the pressure and i'm mm -hmm. thinking and I, you know what my sister keep calling she's in la and she like um you need to sleep because yeah. yesterday yesterday morning she called me early and she was like you just post something late and you're up already she was like Brittany, you need to get some rest she said you can't do that to yourself but i just 
she's anxious. I guess <laughs> the anxiety is just. Uh. No, I won't. Re I won't reveal too much. But I heard a little bit of, you know, a little birdie talking about you getting international. Um, um, you have international interests where mm -hmm. you know people outside are watching you and they're mm -hmm. interested to learn more about you. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you're able to speak on that? Uh, not, not too much, Kendra. You want <laughs> to hear about it? <laughs> well, um, as you guys know, uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta are being believed uh, for the International Week. Um, we have managers for some very big artists their team will be here, their entire entourage, you know, so we are ready, you know, if they're asked, if they ask who Britney Star is, we have a press kit ready for them to pass to them. You know, the possibilities are endless. And so we have just been preparing mm -hmm. if in the event, you know, um, <coughs> I have spoken with Jada Kingdom when she came the last time. And I, I was so happy when Jada said, you know, me listen to Britney Star, you know, um, <laughs> Unfortunately, she didn't get to see Britney's performance because she came later the night and she was begging, you know, let Britney perform again. But unfortunately, that couldn't happen. But it just goes to show that these international artists know who Britney is they and they her. listen to her music. So why isn't it that one, one of us or one of the Belizean artists um, should be able to reach their standards, you know? I tell people all the time, my artists she she shows up and she shows out mm -hmm. you know i study the international artists when they come and she's right up there in terms of appearance mm -hmm. in terms of performance mm -hmm. you know and so it's high time that we start to give these Beliz or low belizean artists i'm mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say local i, yeah. I take we that I, I start, yes that, we right? move <laughs> from that you know mm -hmm. and we're going to show that we're international on Saturday. Um, it's no holding back, you yeah. know, so mm -hmm. we're, we're, you know, we're excited. We want the, um, the fans, her fans to come out to, to know that, you know, Brittany will be doing her thing, mm -hmm. you know, and we'll be definitely um, pleasing Spice and getting her all happy and excited to see Brittany as well, you mm -hmm. know. So while we look forward to this weekend's performance, beyond uh, the... Belize International Music and Food Festival. What can we expect from you in terms of music? Is there an album coming? Are there more singles to be released? You're booked out in terms of performance dates. What's beyond this weekend of activities? Uh, I don't know if you guys go on my page, but mm -hmm. who's on my page could see that I'm rebranding. I'm rebranding. Re sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I personally, I think. I'm ready to take the big stage outside. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm ready for that. Mm -hmm. First, I wasn't, but now I feel like I have that hunger for it, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, we should see, well, ter in terms of new music, uh, I definitely will go in the studio right after this because definitely. we are super busy. Like this week, I'm busy, 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 busy. Yeah. I don't know how, but <laughs> I'm super busy. And I'm a mom, so it's eh, eh rough. But, New music definitely coming. I, we haven't decided yet if we're doing an album. I know I should be doing an EP. EP, right. Right, mm -hmm. but we will let you all know what's coming. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you guys updated on Britney Speaking Star's of new page. Music, um, are you getting opportunities to work with uh, outside producers, or is it mostly homegrown Belizean talent that you're also working with on the production side? Well, right now it's just home. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to ask you, because you said you're a mom, does your, does your kid or kids know that their mom is Britney Starr? <laughs> or do they think, oh, it's just my mom? <laughs> no, they, they know. <laughs> they know this morning they were was to come with me, but I saw them still sleeping. So I say, you know what? I can't. You guys hearing me? Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. I say I can't wake me up to out and sleep. But last night they got to sleep early because they said, Mommy, we to come with you. <laughs> so, what are their reaction to to their mom as a performer? How, what what it, what is it like? I I remember I was performing at a school at their school at Holder Dima, uh -huh. and all the kids then rush me. I was dropping all, and my son Corey right there, he was like. Me, like, you know, I guess he's telling them, like, my mommy, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they love it, they love it, and mm -hmm. they, they support it. Like, 
I would ask them if they want me to stop, you know, and um, the babies, they're not like, no, ma. And the other day, my son, he, his teacher, when Mother's Day was coming, his teacher asked him for, for write something about his mom, like out of my name and the kind of stuff he had to say. I was like, wow, I, he's my child who is so quiet. So mm -hmm. hearing him saying these things, I was like, I didn't even know you yeah. noticed. Like, mm -hmm. he was like, um, even like with with people hate on my mom, my mom still get out there and do, mm -hmm. you know, her best and at the same time still takes very good care of me and my brothers. Yeah. I was like, I didn't even know they noticed these <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what, we'll say this. Uh, it's impossible to not have people that uh, dislike mm -hmm. what you do. And I think ultimately the fact that you are making it to this international stage mm -hmm. for a second time consecutively, that you're causing conversations on the international mm -hmm. front, that means that you are doing something right. Mm -hmm. You've built a fan base, a loyal fan base, yeah. that mm -hmm. is. So you can't deny that it, it, it comes with some <laughs> criticism. It, as, the, as the saying goes, if you have haters, that means that you're doing something, something right, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> uh, and my fans, they don't play. Yeah. Uh, they catch you, they say anything, or we can't they will quarrel with you. <laughs> so I love them. Big up on yourself. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we're all excited for your performance. As we mentioned, um, you're definitely one of the, the ones to look out for uh, mm -hmm. come uh, Saturday. So uh, we're excited to see you perform, and uh, we can't wait to see what you have in store for us. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys either. All right. Well, we are going to take a break, and when we come back, uh, we will be joined by personnel from BTV to give us further updates on what we can expect as it relates to the festival. All right. We're going to take a break. Don't go away. <laughs> 